Hi, it's Mama D. Welcome to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we're going to be looking at episode three from season three, and All Debts Paid is the name of it. So, um, we saw the last episode, Jamie was pretty much living out in the woods after colliding for six years, looked like a, I don't know, his hair was all long, beard was all long, and the, um, the red coats continued to hassle Jenny and, and Ian, and so... Jamie told him that he wanted him to, he wanted them to turn him in. That way they would get the reward and the crown would look at him as loyal subjects. And you, on the other end, you had um, Claire and Frank's marriage showing lots of cracks. I didn't think that was going to work anyway, but um, when her and Frank are intimate, she's thinking of Jane and she closes her eyes. And so Frank confronts her in the middle of having sex, you know, and says, open your eyes. Why are you? You know, you never did that before. So he knows that she's thinking of James. So the little description of this episode is, As Brianna grows older, fresh cracks appear to in Claire and Frank's marriage. Meanwhile, Jamie forges a tentative alliance with a new prison warden. So we saw at the end, towards the end, um, Jamie got all freshened up, shaved, haircut, walks in through the gates of Lollybrock, and Jenny's standing there, and he says, it's me, I'm back, because he's pretty much been in a shell for the last six years. And all of a sudden, here come the red coats behind him. She had, you know, called him and told him. So it was a, it was planned, I believe. I think, you know, she did what Jamie told her to do. But it didn't make it easier. She was crying. And they took him off and put him in a cart and were taking him to prison. So here we go again with prison. Let's see what happens on this episode. Hopefully there's no similar Blackjack Randall to abuse him in prison this time. Oh, a Newfoundland. Those things are huge. Their heads are like this. Oh, are we having a birthday party? 1956. That was the year before I was born. <laughs> is that what I think it is? It is. Full English breakfast. Black pudding. Oh, fingers off. Mm. And bread, fried and bacon fat. Well, of course. What's the occasion? Well, Rihanna came over from school the other day and asked for... Ego toaster waffles. So I decided she needs more Englishness in her life. Mine is what? I'm going to feed the Americans out of her. <laughs> well, neither that. Brianna, breakfast is ready. Oh, that's delicious. I've missed that. Good. You know, I don't have class tonight. And I've read about as much as I can about gallbladders. Well, maybe I could go see a film later. Joe said The Searchers is fantastic. I've seen them both. Oh, both, really? Yes. He's dating somebody else. Oh, I'm... So we... Oh, no, I'm, so, I'm sorry. We agreed we were free to... No, of course. Oh, they have an open marriage. I'm, I'm being discreet, Claire. Yes, you are. Thank you. Yes, she is. Oh, oh, look how grown up she's Oh, been. that's wonderful, darling. <laughs> really lovely. Ardsmere Prison, 1755. Paperwork's hey, the worst of the duty. After that, there's not a great deal to do, really. Putin and Bullion under we have France and Charles Stewart. They say the Highland Army hit it somewhere on the moor. Man that does deliver a treasure such as that to London certainly has the attention of the crowd. You think? <laughs> I understand the prisoners to be mostly Jacobite Highlanders. Yes, and those are the sheep. You all have heard of Red Jamie Fraser. The man was notorious during the rising. Well, we have. He's the only Jacobite officer here and the only man we keep chained. Oh, wow. He lasted as a fugitive for six years after Culloden. Prisoners treat him as their chief. Ooh. They call him McDo. I don't know what it means, a sign of respect of some sort. If matters arise, he acts as their spokesman. Guards are all afraid of him. Those that fought at Preston Pans say he's the devil himself. Hmm. Poor devil now. You'll need Fraser's goodwill and cooperation. I had him take supper with me once a week. You might try a similar arrangement. I want to dine with that prisoner. Ah, yeah, they look at him as a leader. So, you've seen the new governor. Murta! Is that what the knee pits were blathering about? <laughs> you can tell that voice. No. He didn't die, thank God. Seems familiar. I kind of place him. Name is Grey. Oh. <laughs> Matt is not. <clears throat> All the mollies look alike. Oh, Murtaugh's sick. The same about us. Oh, that's what's left of their clan tartan. Oh. <clears throat> Gray's the name of the um, the soldier that let him go at Clotten, remember? And he said his little brother. I bet that's his little brother growing up. Mm, but again. <gasps> the rats are growing oh. Cold bold. <laughs> oh, no wonder they're sick. That's how the plague passed around. Yes, 
more of your damn thistles. Do you think me a pig? Stop on this one. Only milk thistle. You take the heads off, mash the leaves, stems. You learned that from Claire. I learned the trick from the White Witch. Alas, <laughs> we knew a fair amount <laughs> about healing. Mm -hmm. The prisoner, sir, as commanded. James Fraser. Hi. I am Major John William Gray. Yes, the governor that's of this him. prison. Yep. I believe you and Colonel Quarry had an understanding. We did. I would like to continue that. You acting as spokesman for the prison. Fine. Where would you like your supper served, sir? In here, prisoner, if you please. Oh. Damn my eyes, it's after my supper. Has the prison got a cat? There are cats in the storerooms. Well, fetch one up here, at once. They sometimes scurry across my chest whilst I'm sleeping, sir. Oh. If you will, Mackay, please ensure that each prison cell is provided with its own cat. Thank you. Oh, that's good. Yes. Something the matter, Mackay? Respect, sir. I don't think the men would care to have a cat taking all their rats. <gasps> they're eating them? Surely the prisoners don't eat them. Only when they're lucky enough to catch one. He doesn't remember him, but that's the kid that he let go years ago and why his brother let him out. <laughs> Mama, hold your diploma up a bit higher. Oh, she Three, graduated. Three, two, one, cheese. Very good. Who's next, Maestro? Just you and Mommy now. Okay. Oh, it's all right. Well, they're faking it good. Donna, <laughs> shouldn't you be leaving for Fontaine's? I don't want you to miss your reservation. There's plenty of time. Really? It's for seven. You're coming with us, aren't you, Daddy? Oh, I wish I could, my angel, but um, I have some work I need to finish. <laughs> you are going to be a horrible doctor. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, may I help you? That's his girlfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Huh? Oh, crap. That's not discreet. Bree, go play. Your work, I presume? <laughs> Everyone, uh, I have an idea. Why don't we go to the restaurant now? And if they can't seat us early, we'll just entertain ourselves at the bar. Take him with us. Thank you for coming. <laughs> you don't have my I summoned chance. you because the situation has arisen in which I require your assistance. What might that be, sir? A man named Duncan Kerr has been found wandering the moor near the coast. He appears to be gravely ill, near death even. His speech is deranged. However, certain matters to which he refers appear to be of substantial interest to the ground. I fear I must decline, sir. You can't decline nothing. Might I inquire as to why, Mr. Fraser? I'm a prisoner, not an interpreter. Mr. Fraser, if you do what I ask, I will have your iron struck off. Ooh. I understand you've been wearing them for three years. Ooh. Can't imagine how heavy they must feel. Yeah, he's going to bargain with him. I have, however, two conditions. You give a full and true account of whatever the fellow says. And you relate to no one, save me, any information you glean. And I have but one condition. Yeah. Sir, that you provide blankets and medicine for all the men that are ill. The most ambitious request. We're in short supply of both, and I can't possibly bring that about. Then this conversation is over, sir. Return the irons if you must. Mr. Fraser, believe me when I tell you that I would honor your request. If I were able. I would settle for one man then. Murta. My kinsman. Marta, Prince Gibbons. I will inquire as to what we have in stores. And you have a bargain, sir. <laughs> okay, is he gay too and he likes Jamie? I have that feeling. You invited her here. Where Ooh. our daughter lives. Right. You bastard. You screwed her in our bed. You were taking the car. So she was, she was just picking me up. You really dislike me that much. My graduation, for God's sake, Frank. You humiliated me in front of my new colleagues. Oh, welcome to the club. Ooh. What the hell does that mean? Your voice down your way, Brianna. What does that mean? I mean? Do you honestly think anyone at Harvard believes that we're happily married? You've convinced no one. And let's not forget, it was your idea to lead separate lives. Ooh. Yes, but you agreed to be discreet. And having your... 
blonde harlot show up at our doorstep was quite... Do not call her that. Ooh. Sandy has a PhD fellowship in historical linguistics. She's no fucking harlot. Oh, shit. Well, I'm sure you two will have plenty to discuss then. Oh, uh, are you jealous now? Yeah, exactly. Green ain't your colour, Claire. Oh, go to hell. Ooh. You knew how important today was to me. You did this deliberately. You, you wanted to hurt me. Maybe I did. He's been hurt, Maybe too. Maybe I wanted to give you a taste of your own medicine. Mm-hmm. Dr. Randall. Look what he's put up with for the last God knows how many years. Have you fucked her in our bedroom? I bet you. <laughs> Have you? I think our bedroom is far too crowded already. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Wouldn't you agree? Frank, good one. Psst. Yep, there's been another man in your bedroom for the whole entire time. You can't be jealous. Let's stop with the pretense, Frank. Thank you. Far for divorce. Divorce? Why not? And Jerry divorced Millie a year ago. He. Oh, they got divorced that He couple. gained his freedom, but he lost his children for it. Yeah, and she loves Brian. Court ruled that a, a child needs a mother more than his father. He rarely sees him now. I will not let that happen to Brianna. I would never keep Bree from you. Oh, we could work out a compromise. Forgive me, Claire, if I don't risk everything on your promises. You have not been very good at keeping them. True. Anything else you'd like to discuss while we're here? Oh, I see. I feel fault. I feel sorry for Frank. I'm sorry. He didn't ask for none of this. He was the victim in all this. And for him to raise another well, man's child. There is child. a reason why we are so terribly bad at charades, my darling. He's a good man for raising another man's child. You gotta give him credit for that. Do you be one blood that was given by the bun to be the white witch? <gasps> oh my god. Who is she? White witch. She seeks a brave man on my hands. Ooh. She will come for you. Oh, oh, that gives me chills. Oh my God, that gives me chills. He's foretelling the future. Wow. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Well. I know what I'm wishing for. Oh, well, don't waste it on a car because you're not getting one. Oh, I wish away. You never know. <laughs> it's your 16th birthday. <sighs> this is worse than your last putrid concoction. <laughs> so I can manage. What happened with gear? Speech was a mad rant. Not much made sense. Mentioned something about a white witch. Get on with it before I die of old age. <laughs> a white witch. And that she was coming to get you had, uh, some connection to the goal. A white witch. <laughs> he almost smiled. You are thinking after all these years. But is it even possible? Yeah, you do care, don't I? I wish we could know what became of her once you sent her through the storms. I'm wishing I'll not bring her back. But I think of her every now and then. And the wee bear that she was carrying. Yeah. Try not to think of it. And only bring you pain and suffering. Can I at least pray them sound? <laughs> Fraser, get out. I'm told you used to dine with Colonel Quarry. I trust you'll do me the same honor now. You think your pleasantness will loosen my tongue? Yeah. Of course I didn't mean. You can return me to the cells if you have that in mind. Mr. Fraser, I only ask for you to dine with me and attempt to forge a connection between us better suited to our situation here. You're not going to turn down a good meal. Plus, you need to get in his good graces anyway. And I ask your leave to hunt for ourselves. Since the Crown cannot supply the men with adequate food. A hunt? Yeah. It'd give you weapons and allow you to wander the moors. God's teeth, Mr. Fraser. <laughs> not weapons. I'm not wandering. Give us leave to set snares upon the moor on the cut and peats. We keep such meat as we take. 
We could also gather water crisis, sir. What for? I shall take your proposal under consideration. the <laughs> going. Okay, I'm liking him, but I'm thinking he may like Jamie. Am I wrong for getting those vibes? You had a roost pheasant in our wine sauce. Oh, they Fresh just herbs. even want to listen to it. It makes them. Crust of rolls, toppy butter. Slow down like to hmm. want to savor every morsel. Right, they can taste it. Poor guy. Oh, he, he's letting him go hunting. Set traps. Just checking the snails. I'm the governor said they were good. Stay on them. Oh, Jamie, don't try and run. Are you crazy? Easy, boys. Look at nothing. Oh, they diverted him. Are you sure the patrol caught sight of him here? Yes, sir. Thought they saw him swimming out to the islands. I'll get drift search in both directions. Keep an eye out for boats below. <laughs> Yep. He knew. He tied you to that tree. Uh huh. That was him. How did you call me to your conscious that first day? I can't remember anyone who tries to slit my throat. Yep. <gasps> yep. That was him. I did not speak of it before. I was waiting for the proper occasion. <laughs> Why'd you not remind me? You know why. Or maybe indifferent to your own welfare, but perhaps you may have some concern for this lady's honor. <laughs> huh? All right, release the lady. I will tell you whatever you wish. Unfortunately for you, my foolishness of Coriaric saved your life at the lot. Did it not? It did. It sure your did. Your brother, Lord Milton, was an honorable gentleman. And my family debt to you has been discharged. But not your promise. I must be parted from out. I owe you my life. I should hope to discharge that debt in the future. And once it is discharged, I will kill you. I will kill you. Here I am. Boy, Jamie is an honorable dude. Wow. I am not a murderer of unarmed prisoners. Wow. He has some honor. I spoke to you of my wife. You said she was dead and said she was gone. Right, and say she was dead. She was a healer. So the man's words referred to your wife, what they might be. And that she was telling you. So uh, I had to go to see for myself. There was nothing there to do with her. King Louis never sent gold to the Stuarts. All I found was a empty box safe for one jewel. Yep. And I have this as well. Saved it. I think it might be useful oh, if ever I were to be free. Sapphire. Oh, she's graduating from high school. Yay! <laughs> she is so pretty. It's my girl. <laughs> I feel so bad for him. But I'm so glad he stuck it out and helped her grow up. You cunning wee bastard. Where the hell did you learn that trick? <laughs> My older brother taught it to me. Ah, a Lord Melton, you mean? Yes. Curiosity. At that time, I felt similarly. I lost a particular friend, his beloved. He was the reason I joined the army. Black Jack Randall. He... Black Jack Randall. Inspired me. My brother was there when I found him dying. Maybe? No? I don't know. I didn't even have the chance to say a proper goodbye. Hal dragged me away. He was embarrassed, you see. Because I, it was Black Jack, I'm telling you. He said I would overcome it. Come to terms with it. In time. Hal is generally right. But not always. Some people you grieve over forever. I think perhaps the greatest burden lies in caring for those we cannot help. Not in having no one for whom to care. At night, 
we first met at Kodiarik for what you did for my wife. <laughs> All right, release the lady. I will tell you whatever you wish. Ah, he realized he was tricked. <laughs> that was your wife. Yeah. You were a worthy fool. Do you blame me? If you found a 16-year-old shitting himself with fear a worthy opponent, Mr. Fraser, it's <laughs> little wonder the Highland army was defeated. Exactly. A man that doesn't shit himself with a knife held to his throat has either no bowels or no brains. Right. You wouldn't speak to save your own life, but you would to save the honor of a lady. Right. I admire that. Right. I've thought of that now and again since, since I lost her. I see. I told you, it's Black Jack Randall. He's gay. I am sorry for your loss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take your hand off me. Yeah, exactly. You've been through this before. I will kill you. <laughs> he don't go that way. He only went that way once, and that was because he was forced to. What is it? I'd, uh, I'd like to take Brianna to England. Oh, <laughs> that's lovely. How long would you go for? I've been offered a position at Cambridge. Frank, I can't leave Boston and move to England. I'm not asking you to leave. Ooh. I want a divorce, Claire. <gasps> Finally. We talked about this years ago and you said... No, I know. I know what I said. But Brianna's 18 now. Does she know about this plan? No. Not yet. I dare you. Claire, please. There are fine universities there. Oxford for one, where I still have some pull. What about Candy? Hmm? Sandy. We're getting married. We'll get married as soon as I'm free. Are you going to marry her? Yeah, 18 years is enough. You've been waiting. Well, at least he's been waiting. He didn't leave you. All this time. You've just been waiting for the clock to run out. Well, Brianna is my daughter. Ooh. And you will not take her anywhere. Yeah, well, I don't think I'll have to. Are you bloody bastard! Are you reasonable, Claire? You want to divorce me? Fine. Use whatever grounds you like, except adultery. I will have a thing or two to say about adultery, Frank. This isn't about you and me anymore. Brianna is a grown woman. She she can make her own decisions. She has her own life. I would like to live the rest of my life. Happy. With a wife who truly loves me. You couldn't look at Brianna without seeing him. Yep. Might you have forgotten him? If it wasn't for that. With time. That amount of time. Does not exist. Doesn't exist. Yep. Wow. What a screwed up situation. Man. None of them deserve that. None of this. It's just a messed up situation. Fraser! To where? The colonies. Oh, they're moving them to America? Where am I being taken? Oh, they're separating him and Murtaugh. Aww. Well, was I not sent to the territories of the colonies? We are. <clears throat> You are not merely a prisoner, but a convicted traitor imprisoned at the pleasure of His Majesty. Your sentence cannot be commuted without royal approval. His Majesty has not seen fit to give that approval. That's a huge estate. Why would you do that for me? I did not let you have your own way. Right. I regret that particular moment of weakness. But I told you about someone I care for. And you did the same. You gave me my life all those years ago. Um, now I give you yours. Aww. I hope you use it now. Your brother discharged that debt. For the sake of the family name. I discharged it for the sake of my own. <laughs> now, Mr. Fraser. Let's be on our way. What? What? It's Frank. Oh my god, this it's is been a car accident. Oh my god, this is where he dies? And that's how they left off with each other? No. Died. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor Frankie. 
Oh my god. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he was a good man. He was a good man. He didn't deserve to be treated like that. He loved you so much. Whoa, what a way to end that. I just always felt bad for Frank. Thought that was not fair to him either. The whole situation, like I said, sucked. <laughs> she should be thankful that he took care of her daughter like that. So, I'm done crying. Let's check out the next episode. I need to have a box of tissues for this crazy show. But anyway, um, okay. So, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And click the bell for notifications. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.